Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Mr. Cho here. As we're studying the new semester with remote learning, I'm going to try to make some videos and call that Mr. Cho's Tech Tips and Tricks for Teachers. So this is episode number one, and I'm going to share how to schedule your Zoom meetings for all your classes uh, with a permanent link for the semester. And also, you're going to have individualized links for each separate class. So let's take a look. So once you log into your Zoom, you can you should open your settings. You can click here to open the settings, or you can also click on your profile pictures and go to the settings. Um, you need to go to the general tab on the very top, and you go to the bottom on the right side, right side, uh, which says view more settings. That's gonna take us to the Zoom uh, web website. Uh, once we are at the website, um, we need to go to the meeting part on the left side, which is right here. Profile meetings, the second one. Okay, so this is where we're gonna do uh, our scheduling. So I'm gonna create a schedule meeting and I'm gonna call that period four meeting. Um, I want my class to start next Monday and it's gonna take place at 10.05. Uh, when you select from the drop-down menus, um, you you only have uh, 15 minutes increments, uh, but you can type in the time. And don't forget to select the AM PM correctly. After that, uh, your meeting is gonna last, for most of my classes, it's gonna last about 30 minutes. I don't think it really matters. Unfortunately, you cannot type in when the meeting ends. Uh, you cannot type in like 42 minutes. So I'll just put 30 minutes there. I don't think it really matters. Select your time zone, which I think it should be automatically detec detected. After that, you're gonna select the reoccurring meeting. So this is where the job is done. And you're gonna select, for most teachers, you're gonna select repeat weekly and uh, uh, it repeats every one week. So if you meet with your students every day, you're gonna select from Monday to Friday. Let's say I meet with period four every day. And uh, you also can select the end date. Um, for me, I selected the, uh, um, the uh, end of uh, December as when the reoccurrence ends. For the sake of uh, this video, I'm just gonna say it's gonna repeat um, three times. All right, and uh, we are basically all set. You can just save. And uh, um, here you are getting this link that is unique for that one single class, and you can always reuse that. Um, you can also copy invitation and uh, uh, send more detailed instruction for students how to join the, the Zoom meeting. But I think usually this link will be sufficient for the students. Um, so we've done scheduling for one class, and here we have an option that says save as template. So let's see what it does. Um, gonna save that as period for meeting, save as template. And when we go back to my meetings, you can see that we have three occurrence of those meetings because I selected that repeats three times, starts at 10.05, and at 10.35 because it lasts 30 minutes. That's what I said. Okay, so what if I want to do another class? So you're going to go to the top and you're going to select meeting templates. So in the meeting templates, click on 
this is period for meeting. Remember, we saved that as a template before after we created meetings for period four. And we can click on use this template. So it's going to generate something that looks like what we created before, but I'm going to call that period five meeting. After that, um, so it's going to be business as usual. I'm going to select next Monday to start my meeting. And for this meeting, I want it to start at 12.30 p.m. And it's going to last 30 minutes as well. Everything's correct. The reoccurrence. Also, it's going to repeat weekly and repeat every one week. So in my specific situation, um, I have uh, selected some classes to have synchronous classes on some days of the week. Uh, some other days of the week, they're going to have uh, asynchronous instruction. So let's say this period five, they are going to meet on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I can skip Tuesday and uh, Thursday. And uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to let it Repeat for one week, and it's going to be three times. So everything's done. I will save this. If you have more classes, have sim save this as a template. So same thing, you're going to share this link with your students, or you can go to copy information and send that information to your students. So let's go back to my meetings and take a look. So here are all the meetings that I scheduled on Monday, have period four and period five. On Tuesday, I only have period four. On Wednesday, we have period four and period five. And then after that, remember, I only said period four repeat for three times. So period four is not going to happen again. And on Friday, uh, we are going to have period five, period five uh, again at 12.30. Okay, so this is where you can see all your meetings. And now, if you go back to your Zoom, my meetings, you can also see period four meeting, period five meeting. So this is how you set up your Google meeting uh, for each individual class with one link that you can reuse for the rest of the semester. And uh, I try to use my personal meeting ID with my students before, but the problem is that some of the students from period five will go to period four meeting, and uh, it gets a little bit confusing, and especially when I'm teaching, uh, I have to let people in, and uh, I don't know if that student just ha had a weak connection and dropped out of the meeting, or if it's uh, another student who's from period five who want, who's trying to get into the meeting a little bit early. If you have separate meeting uh, links for different classes, um, it will be more organized. All right, so this is our first episode. Please let me know in the comments if uh, this is helpful. If you have any other suggestions or requests for future videos, uh, please also leave a comment and let me know. I'll see everyone in the next video. Bye.